Isolation spells trouble in any team game. In the blood sport of politics, it can be fatal. A fact not lost on Stuart Ayres, and it's prompted him to reflect. The one thing that I would absolutely do differently is that when John Barillaro asked me about this role, I should have told him it was probably not in his best interests or the state's best interests to apply. Instead, last December, the minister sent John Barillaro the job advertisement for the lucrative trade role when it was published in a newspaper. At the time, Mr Barillaro had stepped down as Deputy Premier but hadn't yet resigned from Parliament. It is clear that they were in discussion about his potential next job while he hadn't finished his first job. It was already in the public domain. It was available to him and Mr Barillaro had already announced quite publicly that he was leaving the parliament. The opposition wants the minister to produce the text message. Newly released government documents suggest he knew the job ad was coming. An email from a bureaucrat states, Minister Ayres has confirmed he would like the ad in the SMH, AFR and the Australian newspapers. Then there's another discussing the dates it should run, which revealed they were waiting for Minister Ayres's preference. As evidence continues to come to light, more of Mr Ayres's Cabinet colleagues are refusing to back him. That's a matter for the community and one that will be discussed. It's not one for me. I'm confident that the Graham Head review into this will show that I've acted appropriately as a minister. The Trade Minister, as well as the Premier, are pinning their hopes on the findings of the internal review resolving this debacle. But that's not taking into account the political reality of the damage that's already been done. We are concerned that Stuart Ayres seems to have more power in the Liberal Party to sack Dominic Perrottet than Dominic Perrottet has to stack Stuart Ayres. Mr Barillaro has withdrawn from the New York position. The parliamentary inquiry into the trade appointment will resume public hearings tomorrow. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney.